what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and of course pay to drive vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video i hope you're all doing fantastic out there everybody so ladies and gentlemen of the jury if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you're in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever i post something new and if you wouldn't mind it hit that thumbs up button down below it just lets youtube know i'm doing a good job so with that being said leave a comment saying liked l-i-k-e-d and let's start it up let's get started let's jump into the email triple lindy thornton mellon style he's he's doing that triple lindy every day all right, this comes from our buddy, Dan, low, fat, all right? Here we go. So, uh, he, he says here that supposedly DoorDash has a waiting list now, kind of like Grubhub. Um, I myself have not witnessed this. I, this is the first I am personally hearing from it, and it really, I have a theory with this. So, let's, let's listen to what he has to say. She goes, Pete, paint the following, uh, wait, uh, wait, Pete, the following uh, is the quote from a Reddit user in the DoorDash group. Uh, Every time I try to sign up as a dasher, it says there are too many dashers in your city. Please check back later. I swear, Pete, I have never heard of DoorDash having a wait list. Sure, Grubhub was notorious for always having a wait list in areas, but DoorDash, even well, Uber Eats or Uber. This is definitely big news and apparently blows away the myth that DoorDash just keeps signing people up all the time, if we're to believe the Reddit user statement. Now, Dan, thank you for uh, letting us know about this, first and foremost. Um, I really need this video to be interactive, and what I mean by that is I really, really need the audience participation, so load up the comments when you guys are done watching this with your thoughts. So, as we know in recent months, it just seems like every month uh, the gig economy gets slower and slower and slower. I've even noticed that, you know, with my channel performance and other channels performance too, with views, just everything is just, it's been low. Uh, orders have been low, views have been low. It, it just seems like, you know, people are doing other things if they're scrambling for jobs or whatever it is. And my theory with this wait list is I think what's happening because people are ordering less than they were because they probably just don't have money because unemployment ran out, the pandemic assistance ran out, uh, you know, there was no st more stimulus checks. Uh, I think personally, there's just too many dashers out there. And I guess because you know, the unemployment ran out, more people signed up to be dashers, okay? Uh, I believe in, uh, yeah, New York, in, in the beginning of September, if I'm not mistaken, I think it ran out for people that were on it. And I gotta tell you, man, it, it's it's not good. The fact that they're getting oversaturated with too many dashers tells you something, that there's not enough orders to go around. And that right there should be an indication that something's not right, okay? Uh, I mean, we've been seeing, you know, in the news uh, lately, we've been seeing about the surplus issues, uh, the trucking issues, not enough employees working in restaurants and in retail and in stores in general and stuff, you know? It's it's a very strange time we're going through right now, and, and I hope it doesn't last too much longer because everyone is impacted by it, you know? Like, YouTubers are impacted. Uh, drivers are impacted by it. You know, like I said, retail restaurants are, are impacted by it, you know? The pandemic literally just, like, threw a wrench into our lives, and it's still lingering, man, for a variety of reasons. And I'm not going to sit here and start, you know, preaching from my soapbox about why this is and what are my theories are from it. I could do that in another video if you really want me to, but that's not what we're here to do. Um, but the fact of the matter is that if DoorDash has a wait list, it very well could happen even on Uber or Uber Eats, unless they want to just keep hiring. I don't know. Um, well, it's really not hiring. It's technically partnering because you're signing a contract electronically. But Dashers, let me know in the chat or the comments if you or anyone else uh, knows about this waitlist thing. Because, like I said, Grubhub has been notorious for trying to keep the markets not super saturated with drivers since day one. And I think that that has helped them and hurt them in many ways. 
Uh, but I can go into more detail in another video about that. But yeah, drivers, dashers, let me know your thoughts on this because I'm very curious to hear what you have to say from your own experiences. And of course, if you ever have anything you wanna share with me, uh, a topic, a question, a story, an article, whatever, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. That's S T O R I E S at gmail.com. Or for a quicker response from me, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. So definitely go check that out. And anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm gonna do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really, really appreciate you all. So yeah, if you want to sign up, links are in the description down below. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And of course, everybody, I hope you're all saving lots of money out there with the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is in the description down below every single video. Just scroll down the page and click on the link that says get the free gas app and you'll be good to go, everybody. That is correct. And uh, from that point, what you do, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone you have. And then what you do from there is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today, everybody. All right. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, don't forget to visit paytodrivestore.com. That link, of course, is in the description or the pin top comment. Very simple. We have lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paytodrivestore.com. That's right. Check it out down below. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Leave a comment saying end 204, E-N-D 204. Just uh, lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And uh, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Later.